Medfield TV. Hello, my name is Tracy Rogers and I'm here today with Susan Gorog, my fellow volunteer and board member from the Medfield Food Cupboard. Today we wanted to spend a few minutes with the Medfield community discussing our upcoming food drive on Saturday, May 14th. It's an important food drive for the food cupboard and Susan, welcome Susan, I'm so glad that you could join us. Susan has been very involved with the planning uh, for the food drive and she's here today to share, uh, share with us um, some of the details about how Medfield residents can participate. Thanks Tracy. You and I have both been involved in the planning of this event uh, which will soon be upon us but I need to give a big shout out to Jackie Doe who is a fellow volunteer at the food cupboard and also the mastermind of this event. She has been working uh, with the post office and with other board members at the food cupboard to, to make this event happen. So thank you, Jackie. Yep, here, here with the kudos to Jackie. She couldn't be with us today because she's working. Um, so we said that we would represent the food cupboard on her behalf, but she really has put in the lion's share of the work. So uh, thank you, Jackie, and um, we'll see you on May 14th when we're collecting all mm -hmm. those donations. Susan, can you though take a few minutes to tell folks uh, in the audience how they can uh, help us on May 14th? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, this is the largest food drive of the year for the Medfield Food Cupboard, and this particular drive is sponsored by the letter carriers. So the local, your local letter carrier will be actively involved in this event, and the way it works is very simple, and I love the simplicity of this event. All you have to do is gather up some food items from your own pantry, put them in a bag, a bag of any sort, a, a paper bag, a plastic bag, and just place that bag next to your mailbox on Saturday morning, May 14th, and your letter carrier will pick that bag up during his regular postal route. You know, this is what really speaks to me about this food drive. Susan and I happen to be uh, longtime neighbors and good friends, and so Susan, you know me, um, I'm always on the go, and I have stuff in my trunk that I'm gonna drop off over at the food cupboard or stuff at the transfer station that I wanna donate in one of those bins, and I'll put it in, and weeks later, even though I'm driving uh, 109 and Route 27 several times during the day, I just forget to drop it off. And it takes such a long time uh, to finally fulfill what I wanted to do in the first place. So it's great to know on May 14th, all I have to do with my food donations is go no further than my front door. Agreed. Um, how are you, Susan, going to remember to make your donation on Saturday, what May 14th? I, <laughs> what I have done in past years and what I will do again this year is gather up my items on Friday night place them in a bag, and I will put that bag uh, right in front of my front door. And as I come down my staircase on Saturday morning, I see that bag and I immediately take it out to my front yard and I place it beside the mailbox and I'm done. I've made a donation, I feel great about it, and it couldn't be any easier. Okay, I know on Friday nights, um, that's movie night in my family, so I don't know that we'll be organized enough to get our donations ready. Um, I'm going to put mine in my phone, and I'm going to have it uh, send me either a text message or a sound an alarm on Saturday morning when I get home from the gym, so I'll remember that I will be able to do it. I think it's important to note, I know our letter carrier in, uh, in our neighborhood um, tends to come a little earlier on Saturdays than he does on regular days, so if you can, um, do give your donation um, first thing in the morning, get it outside, um, and we'll keep our fingers crossed for uh, sunny, warm weather so that the donations and the bags aren't going to get too soggy. But even if the weather is um, not great, and who knows, at this stage we could still get a little snow or hail, <laughs> uh, put your donation out. It's rain or shine. That's a great reminder. Uh, rain or shine. Uh, postal carriers will be collecting on that morning. And I think the other thing um, that we both said that we wanted to highlight in our message to the Medfield community is the importance of the timing of this particular food drive. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that, Susan? Uh, sure. We are hopefully approaching the warmer weather, and before we know it, uh, school will be out. And this is the time of year that the inventory in the food cupboard tends to decrease. Uh, people are 
are way on vacation, school is no longer in session, we don't have the, the food drives coming in as we normally would in other months during the year. So this, this particular drive, the postal drive, is important because it gives us an opportunity to really shore up our inventory, mm -hmm. which is exactly what we want to do uh, before the summer hits. That is uh, essential because during the summer we're still holding distributions, as you know, for our clients twice a month and the needs of our clients remain the same. And even though our inventory is down, um, we like to be able to prov provide them the same um, quality, the same uh, variety of items that they're used to getting all winter months long. And I think the other uh, piece of information that I just really want to underscore about the food drive um, that's coming up on May 14th, that all the donations that are collected by our postal service uh, folks, our letter carriers, uh, will um, stay in Medfield, yes? Yes, indeed. Every single donated pro product goes straight to the food cupboard, is shelved, and is available for us to put out on distribution days to our clients. And um, I do have a list of items that, mm -hmm. that we are particularly in need of, so I, I think it might be helpful for people to know what yeah, those items definitely. are. Please. So here they are. Uh, uh, juice, raisins, uh, canned fruit, peanut butter, jelly, hot cereal of any type, uh, canned chicken, white rice, kid-friendly cereal, uh, cookies and salty snacks. And so salties, what do you mean by salties? Salty snacks, pretzels, triscuits, wheat thins, Probably the, the kind of snacks that your kids might reach for when they yes. come home from school. Mm -hmm. uh, sloppy Joe mix uh, and drink mixes. These are the, the staples of our food cupboard and we are always in, in, in need of the, the, these items, uh, although we certainly welcome any, any item uh, anybody would be willing to donate. Yes, we are definitely looking for all types of donations. Um, these particular items, as Susan mentioned, are the staples, something that we're giving out um, at each of our distributions. Uh, but the other thing that we really do need to mention is that the items that are donated um, cannot be expired. Do you want to talk a little bit more about uh, the importance of that? Because it really, as much as it sounds like a uh, bureaucratic detail, it's something that we, we must deal with every single uh, distribution and every single um, food drive that we have. Uh, yes, uh, this, this is another really important point. Uh, I, I know I, I sometimes come upon expired items in my, in my own cupboard, maybe a package of spaghetti, and of, oftentimes I'll, I'll use it because I know it's just maybe a week past expiration and I know that food is going to be perfectly fine. So I will go ahead, serve it to mm -hmm. my family, as I'm sure Ditto at many my house, people if do. If I paid for it, I'm going to serve it <laughs> if it's just a few weeks past the expiration date. Exactly. Um, however, um, w within the food cupboard, we, we are governed by certain guidelines and restrictions. Mm -hmm. And those restrictions simply, they don't allow us to distribute any expired mm -hmm. items to our, our clients. So this is why we um, try to remind people to, to please look at the expiration dates. And while we, we understand the food might, might be fine, because of the restrictions, we, we simply are unable to use it. All right, thank you for going over those. Uh, important, somewhat sounds like too basic um, details, but really are essential for us um, during the food drive process. Because in addition, we can't put out the expired goods, and then we also have to find a way um, to get rid of them, and it just takes up a lot of our time. So, uh, Medfield community, when you're making your donation, which we so appreciate, if you could just check those dates, and believe Susan and I, we know how hard it is to check the dates. They're almost in the smallest possible print when we go to through it. You, might, you may even need a magnifying glass, but we really appreciate your upfront efforts on that end. Mm -hmm. um, I think that as we are just talking about um, some of the things that we do as volunteers at the food cupboard, maybe we should just spend a, a, a brief uh, few minutes talking about what the mission of the food cupboard is and the mm -hmm. clients that we serve. Take a step back um, just from May 14th, but about our overall work that we do every week and every month, mm -hmm. um, 12 months a year here in Medfield. Mm -hmm. And that work is so important, Tracy. Um, you, you are a, a volunteer as well, so you see things on uh, a more daily basis that some of our viewers may not see. Uh, the, the fact is the 
The need to uh, provide services to families in, in Medfield is, is ever present. And we are thrilled and grateful for the generous support that mm -hmm. the Medfield community provides to keep our food cupboard very strong and um, able to fulfill its mission of, of serving families. And, and who are these families? These families are average families that live in Medfield, are, are, are fellow Medfield citizens who might be temporarily going through a tough time. Mm, absolutely. Maybe there's a, a job loss or an illness involved, and they rely on the food cupboard to help them through that difficult time. Yes. I think that one thing that strikes me, um, we're, Susan and I, uh, our primary role at the food cupboard has been more around the purchasing and doing food drives and um, doing some of the more uh, physical labor of stocking the shelves. Um, but the few times that we have been at a distribution and we've met the clients, the one thing that I would like to underscore is how grateful, appreciative, and thoughtful that group is. And when you go, it just makes you want to work all the more harder uh, to help the, the food cupboard do what it needs to do. Uh, that, that's really such an important point, Tracy. Um, the, the gratitude of, of the, the, the families who, who need these services is, is immense. And I, I, again, th thank you. Thank you to the Midfield community for, for being there for these families. Yes. So I guess I will um, take it a step further. We are so looking forward to all Medfield residents' support on May 15th, May 14th, Saturday, uh, dropping off their bags for their uh, letter carriers to um, bring their donations over to the food cupboard. Uh, Susan and I will be there uh, sorting and stocking the shelves with the donations that uh, are dropped off. But I do want to mention that we really need support from the community all year long. So if for some reason um, you're not available on May 14th, you're out of town, but you want to support us, um, feel free to make a donation to us. We have drop-off sites throughout the Medfield area. Uh, there's a drop-off at Shaw's. There's a bin right in their front entrance. There's one at the library as well as the United uh, Susan, is it the United Church of the UCC? Yes, exactly. Which is um, 459 Main Street. That happens to be the home of the food cupboard. And there is a basket in their reception area. And it's my um, understanding that the door is open to the church during normal business hours, Monday through Thursday, but just half days on Friday. So am I correct with that? Correct. OK, so um, consider. Uh, Supporting us on May 14th, if you can't, dropping something off maybe the week prior to one of these sites, and then certainly throughout the year you can make a donation in that way to the food cupboard um, at your convenience. That's good. Yes, that sounds great. Do you have any? Am I, am I forgetting anything? <laughs> I don't think you're forgetting anything. I. Um, it's been great having an opportunity to talk about not only this event on May 14th, but about the food cupboard in general, um, because. It is really, as, as I've said many times, uh, such an important organization in, in the community. I did think of one other thing that we could have mentioned as you were talking, <laughs> um, surprisingly. Um, if folks want to volunteer, we are looking for volunteers on May 14th, um, and we will post a sign up um, on our website, which is medfieldfoodcupboard.com. So if any folks are interested in helping us, I think the volunteer hours are 12 to 5? Do I have it right? I don't have it in front um, I believe it's one thirty to 5. One thirty to 5. So yes. the volunteer times that we're looking for folks to, will be at the UCC. Um, the types of things we'll be doing, we'll be take, helping the letter carriers bring the donations into the building, sorting them, sorting them shelving them. Um, I always say my volunteer time at the food cupboard is mostly my exercise time, <laughs> really, because it is a lot of up and down and bending, um, but it will take many hands because um, we are expecting many donations that day. We are indeed. And I just wanted to clarify the 1.30 to 5. That's broken down into two shifts. There's a 1.30 to 3 shift um, and then a 3 to 4.30 shift. So um, we don't need you for that. In, Entire duration, that's right, that's just yes. one of two shifts. Right, so now everyone can see when I introduced you at the beginning, I said Susan has all the details why well, I was so <laughs> glad that you were here because I, I, I did not know the, the exact times. So I guess um, pretty much that's a, a wrap up on everything for the food drive. Uh, I, I, 
I, I think, think that's we're good. Great. All right. So um, thank you very much, uh, Medfield community, for taking a few minutes with us this afternoon. Um, Susan Gorog and I uh, have been volunteers uh, for the food cupboard for several years. Um, so we were really happy to be here to share our message about the food drive. Uh, the food drive, I want to just emphasize one more time that it's on Saturday, May 14th. Please leave any unexpired food donations you have in a bag of any type um, at your mailbox. The letter carrier will come and he, will, he or she will deliver them uh, to the food cupboard that very day and they will be on the shelves for our next distribution. Um, and when you do leave that donation, I'm sure the letter carrier, it will, you'll put a smile on his face in addition to food on the table of Medfield residents who are in need. Thank you very much for your time.